It is day seven of the George Allen Kelly murder trial. It has now come to a close. Kelly is charged with second degree murder after an undocumented migrant was found dead on his Keno Springs ranch in January of last year. Our chief investigative reporter, Cors Nylander, has been following this story from the very beginning and was inside the courtroom today. He joins us live outside the Santa Cruz County Courthouse with the latest on what happened today. Chorus. Yeah, well, Sean, the jury is now home for the evening. They were released a little bit early today so that prosecutors and the defense attorneys could take a little field trip over to George Allen Kelly's property to survey it uh, while they try and arrange an on-site visit for the jury at a later date in this trial, still waiting for all the details on when or if that will actually take place. Today, all time was spent hearing testimony from George Allen Kelly's wife, Wanda Kelly, who was called as a witness by the state. She emotionally walked through the events of the day the body was found, which was January 30th last year. She testified that earlier that day during lunch, Kelly told her to be quiet, grab the phone, and call the Border Patrol liaison. That's when she, uh, she did that. She handed him the phone, and that's when she learned that Kelly uh, thought he had heard a gunshot. She says she saw through the window two men dressed in camo with backpacks and rifles. Kelly grabbed his AK-47, she said, and went outside. Then she heard several loud gunshots close by to the house. Prosecutors tried impeaching her credibility by questioning why her statements to Border Patrol agents and deputies did not match up with uh, a lot of what she testified to in court today. Uh, as she stated that she saw in those reports, saw five people and was unclear about how many shots she heard. Different story today that clearly began upsetting Wanda. Oh, I was not counting. My husband was out there facing these guys with guns. And you think I'm going to stand there and count how many times I hear a shot? You're crazy. And when Kelly allegedly heard that first gunshot, Wanda did not. The defense pointed to her trouble hearing and issues with her hearing aids as an explanation as to why uh, she didn't hear it. The defense also focused on how Wanda was afraid to walk around their property for some time because of previous incidents uh, that she testified to about seeing armed people in camouflage on their property. The defense raised questions about the conduct of the investigators in this case. Wanda said she was taken to the sheriff's office and asked questions. Questions uh, very shortly after uh, that body was reported, feeling as though that she wasn't allowed to leave without being, and she wasn't read her rights. She says the deputies lied and told her Kelly had given a confession in an attempt to get information out of her. That was not true. Kelly has never made a confession. This left her feeling that investigators couldn't be trusted. We'll break down more of this important testimony we heard here today coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. Court will resume here tomorrow at 8.30 in the morning. We'll be here and bring you the latest as this trial moves forward. We're live from Nogales, Cor Snylander, News 4 Tucson.